Talufa and welcome to Editor's Choice. These are stories chosen by the editor from our website, talamuwa.com. And this is episode 2. Today is Saturday the 26th of March 2022. And these are today's choices. Police this week stopped the burial of a four-month-old baby when the baby's body was ordered to be returned to the National Hospital Morgue and Motortua. The coroner has ordered a full medical diagnostic report on the cause of the baby's death and whether it was COVID-19 related. The four-month-old baby was hospitalized for pneumonia last week and the parents wanted to find a traditional cure for the child. They then signed a consent document with the doctor allowing the baby's release last Saturday. Unfortunately, the child passed away on Sunday. The parents are students at one of the theological colleges and they took the child to be buried at a family home. On their way, they were stopped and questioned at a police COVID checkpoint. An officer on duty called police headquarters and the body was ordered to be returned to the hospital and for the police to investigate. Meanwhile, Funeral and burial services are now allowed under the current COVID-19 Alert Level 3 Cold Red Lockdown, but to only 10 family members living in the same household. The burials are only allowed on two days. The essential services are opened on Tuesdays and Saturdays under the new orders, and only one church minister is allowed to conduct the service. A 67-year-old Samoan father of four who has been stranded in New Delhi, India for over two years, is finally back home. He was among the 56 passengers who arrived from Fiji on flight FJ251 last Friday. Tafilipepe Fineaso Aimasu traveled for his wife's medical treatment under the government medical scheme on the 4th of January 2020. The couple was supposed to return home with the other Samoans who were also under the same medical scheme in late 2020. However, the mother had a second attack and they stayed behind for further treatment. Sadly, she passed away following surgery in March 2021. Pepe is now in quarantine with his wife's ashes and is very much looking forward to being reunited with his children and family. After living under the restrictive COVID-19 pandemic conditions, for over two years. That's our editor's choices for today. For more on these stories, please click on the links in the description section below. Before we end this episode, we would like to thank everyone who reacted, commented, and shared our first episode. We appreciate your support. And that's our episode for today. Thank you for joining us, and remember to subscribe, leave a comment, like, and share with your family and friends if you enjoy our videos. Manuel Fayung Olvayaso, God bless.